So if you remember uh, when we were talking about more, the more Coulomb or the more, in, more envelope, the more envelope is essentially we, we do a series of triaxial tests controlling the principal stress difference, and we create these series of more circles, right? And the true sort of more envelope, the more failure envelope, is this line that just touches tangent to all those circles in the test series that we do. Of course, the more Coulomb uh, f failure criteria is the linearized version. So it's, it's, it's this line, right? So something slightly more accurate would be to take another, you know, as opposed to just a linear fit, to, to actually take and say fit a parabola, do a quadratic fit to this line. Okay, so that's sort of the next degree of complexity that you can add. And that's what the Hope Brown criteria is. So it's a it's a parabolic fit to that um, more failure envelope. And this uh, C0 is, as we defined previously, the unconfined compressive strength. And then M and S are essentially fitting parameters or material properties, you might call them, uh, that depend on the rock properties. So M is specifically related to the, prop, you know, the rock properties. And here's some typical values. Uh, I'm not sure why. These didn't show up. Should be like this. So there's some typical values for M for different types of rocks, and then S is a parameter that essentially um, interpolates between zero and one, depending upon on the on the degree of fracturing that is happened to the rock. So a perfectly intact rock with no fractures would have an S value of 1, and a, and a completely granulated rock would have an S value of 0. Okay. And so in reality, there's always something in between. Um, I thought I had a figure there, but OK. So uh, the, the Hope-Brown criterion, again, like a, if we go back to this, this figure, it still is mostly hexagonal, okay? 